Can you believe it's already been one week since the Olympic Games have started? We've seen Jeffrey Butler swim in the 400 meter freestyle with a time of 4 minutes 7.87 seconds coming in first in his heat. Then we watched Laura Butler swim her heart out in the 100 meter backstroke breaking Cayman's national record and a personal best with a time of 1 minute 4.98 seconds. We then hopped in a boat literally to see Florence Allen compete in the women's laser radial. Today is day four of the sailing event, which she'll compete in the hardest course of her life, the open ocean course at Copacabana. Tomorrow is the final sailing race day before the meddling day on Monday. Next up, we have sprinter and two-time Olympian Kimar Hyman running the 100 meter sprint tomorrow morning at 9.30. If he qualifies, he will then run on Sunday at 9 p.m. with the world's fastest man, Usain Bolt. Veteran Ronald Forbes will race on Monday, August 15th at 8.40 p.m. in the 110 meter hurdle. Again, if he qualifies, he will race on Tuesday, August 16th at 8.45 p.m. the same time the next day. We took to the village and caught up with them. Take a look. Our uh, training has been going good. Uh, right now we're just uh, doing a, a lot of light work. Uh, we've done most of the work uh, during the year, so same procedure. So all I have to do is just uh, get through the rounds and um, you know execute my race the way I need to do it and hopefully the finals and then we'll talk about the medals after that. Yeah. We had a successful training on Tuesday night where we executed over the official competition height of 42 inches out of blocks. It was a bit shaky at first, but you know, we managed to get the job done. No nerves for now. Um, maybe closer to the race, who knows. Um, but it's a, it's a good thing. Um, it's not nervousness as in, you know, I'm scared. It's nervousness, it's, it's nervousness like, hey, I'm gonna, I wanna do good. Been here before several times, not just at the Olympics, World Championships, other major championships. So nothing has really changed. You still have to get out the blocks and you know get down to the line just like everybody else. I have to have my music. Um, taking it slow, so I would I would warm up a little earlier. Maybe take a walk around the track, kind of visualize everything. Uh, my race day preparation is the same thing as any other day. I go into practice. It's maybe a five or ten minute. Hey, you know how you're doing? After that, don't talk to me. <laughs> it's uh you know headphones are on and I get in my zone. Sure, I'm young, um, I have a lot of drive in me, so yeah, I definitely see me going to Tokyo 20, 2020, so yeah. It is possible, it is possible. Uh, I never count myself out. However, um, it's one Olympics at a time and the goal is to get refocused after every season take notes on what could have been improved, what some of the mistakes were, and always try to clean up. Definitely ready. Um, I've been waiting for this my whole life. Back in 2012, I was really young, so I was inexperienced. Right now, I'm a little bit more experienced. I've met a lot of guys on the circuit. Uh, I've learned a lot of things, so I would say I'm ready. Santa, here I, I was able to get it done, and here I am, uh, ready to compete. Guys, just tune in and, you know, this chair. You know, even if I don't hear it, hey, I hear it in here. All of Team Cayman will be in the stands waiting and watching for the Olympics' most anticipated sport, track and field. If you turn up your volume just loud enough, you might hear us screaming in the background. Make sure to follow the Cayman Islands Olympic Committee on Facebook for instant updates. Ciao!